people. The Cappuccino Blast, regular or decaf, only at Baskin Robbins. This Wednesday from 5 to 10 p.m., get a free 8-ounce Cappuccino Blast. Free, Scout's Honor. When I first heard about Wayne County Health Choice, I just didn't believe they could offer that much for that price. But I tried it, I've used it, and they do everything they say. People who think it's too good to be true, I got something to tell you. It, it, it really works. We love the selection of hospitals and physicians. The premium insurance we had cost three times as much for half the coverage. It's nearing a 1,000 businesses and 10,000 people in this program. Wow. Don't your employees deserve Wayne County's health choice? Call 1 800 Well Now. If your business is not in Wayne County, it should be. It's another Mad About You, now at 11 on Detroit 62 CBS. Tonight on the CBS Tuesday movie, it's the Patty Duke Show reunion movie. Remember that show about those twins, two teenage girls, shenanigans. Now she and she will reunite. It's Patty Duke on Tuesday night. You still lose your mind when cousins are two of a kind. The Patty Duke Show reunion movie, CBS Next. When cousins are two of a kind. Never too loud. I can't hear myself think. That's exactly why I was offended. Don't you think you're overdoing it? Honey, at my age, being able to overdo is more important than being able to do. You're not exactly Jurassic. Thank you, sweetheart. Like it or not, things change. I still want to close the school. Enrollment's down, repair bills up. We either raise enough money to meet the state matching funds or it's all over. As soon as something gets old, nobody sees the beauty in it anymore. I'm depressing myself. Is this about saving the school or preventing Sue Ellen Caldwell from developing the property? Just because that woman has been trying to get the best of me since I was your age does not mean that... Look, there is a principle behind this. She is a mean, selfish, rich, bully snob. And I'm gonna get her, that's the last thing I do. At least it's not personal. Don't you ask school. You're the one who's gonna be late. Dad's back from DC, he's dropping me off. Now change. <laughs> Patty Lane, one small woman fighting the mighty for the rights of the little guy. You go, girl! Now I'm really depressing myself. Meet Kathy, who's lived most everywhere, from Zanzibar to Barclay Square. But Patty's only seen the sights a girl can see from Brooklyn Heights. What a crazy pair! The adores a minuet, the ballet russe, and crepe Suzette. Our Patty loves to rock and roll, a hot dog makes her lose control. What a wild duet, still they're cousins, identical cousins, and you find. They laugh alike, they walk alike, at times they even talk alike, you can lose your mind. Hey, Dad. 
read your story in this morning's paper. Do you realize that you used the phrase alleged cover-up five times? Only five times? I guess that's why they consider me pro-administration. <laughs> Mom called from Auckland. Her story's keeping her there through next week. Between her schedule and mine, it's, it's a miracle we got together long enough to have you. you. You've heard that one, huh? A few times. Hello? Hello? Grandma! Hey, Grandma! Michael, how are you? Good to see you. Uh, no, I got it. Thanks. <laughs> How was your flight? Fine, if you don't mind sitting in the last row next to the bathroom watching all those desperate people. <laughs> uh, senior citizen seats are the next best thing to sitting on the wing. <laughs> Is Patty hip to what's happening yet? No, totally clueless. She's gonna freak when she finds out. I can't wait to tell her! Natalie, it's supposed to be a surprise. Telling your mother a secret's like putting it on the internet. Excited when we heard the news, we had to be here for Your alumni week. Oh, why? Oh well, uh, we knew how important this week was to you. Oh well, you guys are the greatest. <laughs> okay, I, I gotta get to school. You gonna be okay here? Oh, we have plenty to do. Uh, look up old friends. Spend our meager pension shopping for things your mother simply can't live without. Ah, oh, way to go, Mama! <laughs> All right, see you later. I think we did it. Hey, you guys. I know you're up to something, and I'm gonna figure out what it is. I always do. Bye! A wasted career. She would have been great in the CIA. <laughs> So, when's Cousin Kathy arriving? Uh, they got grounded in Nova Scotia. They're not going to be here until late this afternoon. Oh, yeah. You know, I'd like a strong black cup of coffee over here, Marge. Why, Yemeni? It's been a long layover. Excuse his manners. I'm trying to sound American. So when we get there, I'll fit right in. We're going to Brooklyn, not North Dakota. Yo, baby, you dance better than I ever seen. <laughs> no matter where we settle in the States, they'll think I'm a local. I made it clear, Liam. We are going for one week and then back home. Mum, I can't take Scotland anymore. The only exciting thing that ever happens there is when a cold wind blows someone's kilt into their face. All you know about America is from TV and movies. You'll quickly realize how different things are. You love America too. I know you miss Dad, but it's time. You need this trip, and so do I. How did I ever get a clever son like you? Genetics. Pure and simple. Transworld flight from Edinburgh to New York City is now ready for reboarding at gate seven. Look out, New York. Here we come. Thanks, have a good day. Yes, fine. I'll take care of it. Thank you. Morning, Ms. Lane. Mr. Sweeney? Hmm. The mayor, city council, still tying up our fax lines with your incessant missives to our elected officials, huh? They have to be reminded that our school is a landmark. Uh, uh, uh. And essential to the survival of our community. Ms. Lane, I know you don't enjoy this concept called reality, but this landmark has no heat. The plumbing is almost non-existent. Will all students please proceed to their home rooms? And the PA system makes everybody sound like they ingested helium. We're going to make a lot of money during alumni week. A half a million dollars, Ms. Lane. Do you really think you can raise that kind of money in one week? I 
with a basketball game, a play, and an arts and crafts fair. We left out the celebrity concert and dance. Oh, yes, that's right. The one without the, ce the celebrities. All right. So not everybody has confirmed. I'm working on it. You also forget that we have a lot of wealthy alums who could potentially write big checks. Miss Lane, what you're talking about is basically impossible. I love starting with the basics. Okay, before we start the rehearsal, we're gonna do an acting warm-up exercise. Everybody on your feet. Let's go, come on. All right, we're going to use creative imagery. Close your eyes. Separate. <laughs> and no sleeping. Now, feel your body expand. <laughs> Fill the space. Fill the room. Fill the school. Fill Brooklyn. Don't fill the hallway. <laughs> and this lane rules. <laughs> yeah, well, let's make sure she keeps her job. We only have three days left to pull Romeo and Juliet together. Let's start with act two, scene one. Scene two. Tiffany, Anthony. Tiffany. Can we save that for the scene? Sorry, Miss Lane. Begin. Yo, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. No one's at home. You must not have got the message that we switched planes and got in early. Now what? Now we take a taxi and surprise Patty at school. This swan is gone. These moldings, they all gotta go. And that, whatever that is, that's definitely gotta go. It's so old. Old can be nice, Liam. Sometimes. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this will be a difficult, excuse me, Mr. Hiron, be a difficult meeting, I'm afraid. We have to deal with the real possibility that come next semester, this school will close. Oh. All the students will be dispersed to other schools, and unfortunately, many of you will be let go. On the upside, uh, some of you are eligible for early retirement. This is outrageous. Where's Patty? Hey, who authorized you people to be in here? All we are doing, lady, is a structural feasibility study for Mrs. Caldwell, all right? If there are no other questions... I... Ah, Ms. Lane, finally decided to join us, hmm? Excuse me? Yeah, please, could you kindly uh, take a seat so we can continue? Oh, I I'm not... Ms. Lane, please. Thank you. Now, although this facility will cease to exist as a school, it will not be demolished. Uh, <clears throat> to explain, um, a community leader and developer, Sue Ellen Caldwell. Good afternoon, friends. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Principal Sweeney for asking me here today so that I might have this opportunity to explain to you all exactly what's going on. Therefore, I am pleased to announce that I have signed a tentative agreement to buy this property. But only in the event that the school is unable to raise the money necessary to keep this place going as an institute of learning. Now, not to worry, I have no intention of destroying this edifice, only modifying its function. 
slightly. Mrs. Caldwell doesn't own this building. The city does. That's never stopped Mrs. C before. Right, boys? <laughs> yeah, well, it's good to this time. You are trespassing. Please leave. Hey, put down those blueprints. We got a job to do here, all right? Fine, do it someplace else. You can't do that. Uh-oh. The Brooklyn Heights Mall will retain this beautiful structure. And in keeping with our school's reputation for excellence, we'll have only the finest retail merchants in the business. Names like Luggage World, Vicky's Nighties, and the Roger Corman Studio Store. Hey. You're a representative, Patty. Everybody's counting on you. But I'm not. Yes, Miss Lane. Miss Lane, please. Someone's gonna speak. Well, I. Patty. I think. Yes, go. I just think that what you're proposing is disgusting. Yes. Yes. When our institutions no longer matter. We no longer matter. Right. Here, here. Yeah. For they have formed the way we look at the world. Oh, please. This school hasn't just shaped a neighborhood. It has shaped the way a neighborhood sees itself. Mrs. Caldwell is not going to be happy about this. Mrs. Caldwell hasn't been happy since she evicted a building full of senior citizens in a blizzard. After you. My meeting! Excuse me! Pardon me! If we turn our backs on Brooklyn Heights High, we turn our backs on ourselves. You haven't learned, have you, Patty? When you go up against me, you always lose. Should have stuck with the other outfit, thrift store girl. Why couldn't I listen to Papa and learn the value of thrift? Thrift. That's it. I'll go to the thrift shop. I'm sure to find a gown there. It's me. It is lovely. You're lucky. It came in just a little while ago. Oh? So you went to the thrift shop and bought my old dress. I did not! Well, I didn't know it was your dress. Please, Sue. Promise me you won't tell anybody. Please? Promise? Buddy, pal, friend? Mm, of course not. I'd be an utter monster, too. You made us proud, Patty. I like your hair back better.
If you could leave just a little bit over at every meal, it would really add up. Imagine what you could avoid eating in a single month. If you're significantly overweight, 30 pounds or more, depending on height, your doctor has something that may help you eat less. It's called Meridia, and it can help you lose weight and keep it off. You've got to do your part. You've got to do your part with diet and exercise, but Meridia can help. Meridia is a prescription medicine, and it's not for everyone. It can substantially raise blood pressure, and it's not for people who are pregnant or nursing, under 16, or taking anything else for weight loss, depression, Parkinson's disease, migraines, or for people with anorexia, glaucoma, or serious heart problems. Side effects may include headache, constipation, insomnia, and dry mouth. It's a controlled substance, so patients who abuse Meridia may become dependent. For more information, ask your doctor or call 1-888-4-MERIDIA. I'm, I'm ready. Meridia. You do your part, we'll do ours. One word convinced me to take an herbal to help maintain memory. Centrum. Centrum Ginkgo is different. Some brands can lack natural ingredients. Only Centrum uses Pharma Print for a more complete herbal every time. Centrum Herbals, each naturally more complete. My mama told me you better shop around. Shop. Even if you're not rich and famous, you can still afford the most gorgeous designer dresses for spring. The most stunning suits, too. And it's all so easy. Just make the move to the store where you always see more and save more on the best. Today's Burlington Coat Factory. We're more than great coats. My mama told me you better shop around. That must be a fascinating article. You think? But now it's time to feed the kitties. Anybody hungry? I am. Cats know what they want. Whiskers. What cats want. Gotcha. I could hardly wait to spend my summer vacation with Aunt Laura. She knew just everything. What you need to build a playhouse, how to make things grow, and that nature always makes a fresh new start. And she always stuck some milkfuls in my pockets. How I enjoyed that wonderful flavor. And nowadays, when I send my little Anna to be with her, I know she will also have a wonderful time there. Because it's the simple things that make life so rich. Milkfuls. Simply enjoy. You didn't have to be so nice. I would have liked you anyway. If we drove together once or twice, went upon your quiet way. The next neon, a lot more to love. CBS Thursday, a gang terrorizes a teenage girl. Can you identify them? For what? Is there any way out? Carrying the gun is not the answer. A promised land no parent should miss. Then, the guy who reveals magic's biggest secrets will be murdered. On live TV. He's dead. Was it for revenge or ratings? All new Diagnosis Murder CBS Thursday. Catch the wildest outtakes. Don't kick me with that stuff. <laughs> from all your favorite shows. <laughs> plus classic screw ups. You'll never get the way I know. With Ray Romano, Ted Danson, Kelly Who, and more. Kevin James hosts the biggest, baddest collection of all new funny flubs and screw ups. CBS Friday. Bette Midler. What's the matter, Morty? Can't you buy her a whole dress? Diane Keaton. I am talking about justice. Goldie Hawn. Any more collagen? Your lips are gonna look like they got stuck in a pool drink. Morning, Mohammed. The network television premiere of The First Wives Club, CBS Sunday. <laughs> oh, oh, I still can't believe you guys are here. You know the last time I saw you, you, you barely came up to my waist. And so handsome. I prefer hip, cool, out of sight. You got it. I told Mum, if she didn't come, I'd fill up myself in a box like I did to London. <laughs> you went to London in a box? Actually, it broke when they were loading me on the truck in Glasgow. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like something our Patty might have done. Is it cool to show Liam my room? Of course. Here's a scary thought. It's the same room your mom and my grandma used to share. Didn't know families in America kept the same house from one generation to the next. Well, the previous owners made me an offer I couldn't refuse. The monthly rent check keeps her mother in lottery tickets. Oh! Mom, I can do that. So can I. And so can your father. 
This is one of the disadvantages of retirement. You retire to have nothing to do. So why does everyone think you need to do something? All right, all right. It's just a question. Didn't expect an answer. Please say something to your mother. They haven't changed. They've gotten worse. Gee, I'm sorry I haven't called you much lately. Uh, things have been so hectic at school. I'm afraid I've become a bit of a hermit since Colin died. Well, let's face it, Kath, you never were much of a party animal. My world revolves around Liam now. He keeps me quite busy. Yeah, I know what you mean. Michael and Nancy are usually off chasing a story, and Molly lives here more than she does at her own house. And I love it. <laughs> a little sad thinking of them grown up and not needing us anymore they'll always need us Kat and when we're really old we'll check into the same nursing home and give them a run for their money you should have seen Sue Ellen's face when I was making that speech she could have killed me you yeah well she's lucky it wasn't me I wouldn't have been so polite it's like old times. People mixing us up. Do you have any idea what a weapon we have in our hands? What do you mean? Separately, we're two girls who have a few talents. Just like anyone else. Your brain, I like sports. You like opera, I like to dance. But together, we're really on the beam. On the beam? With it. We can be in two different places at the same time. Do you think we could really fool people, Patty? Let's find out. How? Any objections? Not in the least. I think I will descend below and inquire how Aunt Natalie and dear Uncle Martin are getting along. <laughs> That's we did. Hmm. That's Joan Adams. He's my favorite actor. Wouldn't mind having hit a lot with the babes. My grandma taught him English and drama. That's radical. You know, I've always loved things American. I'd love to see Scotland. I'd love to see anywhere that isn't Brooklyn. You're mad. Brooklyn, as they say in the local vernacular, is the grenade. Uh, do you mean the bomb? That too. Save our school. Five bucks a chance. You win a motor scooter. Only five bucks. Way to go, guys. Hey. I told you this place would be a morgue. Yes, you did, Norman. But I still don't want to take the chance that by some pathetic accident, Patty's able to raise the money. So I want to put all our contingency plans into effect. You know what to do, Norman. What happened to all the fans? Makes no sense. Paper said it was going to be a sellout. Well, a lot of people are coming from out of town. Maybe they got stuck in traffic. I can't sit here anymore. Popcorn, anyone? Lots of salt, extra butter. Cherry Coke? No ice. Yo, what's up? Want a party? Not with you. You're not exactly helping me here. I've always been able to draw the crowd. This is how we do it back home.
told you. Thank you. Ah! Oh! Careful, Patty, careful. The cleaning bill for this outfit would cost more than your entire wardrobe. That's because they charge double for extra smells. Ooh, I'm so glad we've managed to stay enemies all these years. I, I thrive on the tension, don't you? But this is your alma mater as much as it is mine. Why do you want to destroy it? Oh, patty, Patty, Patty. It's old. Its time has come and gone. A little like you, dear. Wow, you know, I know love Brooklyn. I'm totally happy for you, but I didn't sell one ticket. What? You got a customer right here. I'll take thirty dollars worth. Hey, Richard! Yeah. Patty. Richard, I need a favor. Stop me before I commit justifiable homicide. Sue Ellen. You can't let her get to you. The woman is miserable. She's been married five times. So she's been with four more men than I have. <laughs> I'm not that far ahead of you. <laughs> After all, we were married for 27 years. Are you still seeing, um, what's her name? Rebecca? Nah, she wore too many hats. I think I saw her hair maybe uh, twice. Are you dating? I met someone on the internet. Really? I finally got the courage to meet him. He was old enough to be my dad's dad. <laughs> Good typist, though. Thanks for helping with the set. Patty, I... We're gonna keep the school going somehow. I just needed some downtime. The old room looks different, but somehow it's still the same. Kind of like us. Uh, pardon me, am I interrupting? Yeah. yeah. Well, anyhow, Michael and I got talking about the strange turnout tonight, so I did some digging. Digging? I may have retired, but the newspaper man inside me didn't. I asked around, and guess what? Somebody hacked into the computerized ticket system. Whenever anybody tried to buy tickets for the game, the computer showed that it was sold out. You don't want that to happen at the art fair. So the question is, who in their right mind would want to sabotage you that way? Well, I know who. But the last word I'd use to describe her mind is right. She wouldn't. Who else? Well, what are we going to do? We? You don't think I'm going to let you be the only hero? <laughs> when the great outdoors comes indoors, make sure you're ready with a dirt tunnel. The Dirt Devil Mop Vac scrubs your floor clean, then vacuums it dry. The Broom Vac sweeps and picks up dirt. And the Ultra Hand Vac lets you reach just about anywhere. 
No matter who messes up, we'll make it easy to clean up because nothing escapes the power of a dirt devil. Let me tell you about the best traffic report in town, brought to you by QXRT's Barb and Bill. Woo! It's a scorcher out there, and I hope none of you are trying to get anywhere soon. From up here, it looks like a little backup heading downtown. These guys have the ultimate view. This is Barb and Bill, the QXRT traffic team, signing out. Once again, our explorer saves the day. Yeah, glad we're not down in that mess. And just think of the money they saved on a helicopter. The new Ford Explorer, built Ford Tough. Today, we're going to discuss... Molars! Yeah! Tooth care has never been this exciting. Until now, new Trident Advantage. Clinically proven to help whiten teeth and reduce unsightly plaque. New Trident Advantage. Imagine a day outdoors without the runny nose. Imagine a day indoors without the itchy eyes. Make it happen with Benadryl, the histamine blocker. Get outdoor allergy relief and indoor allergy relief. Benadryl. CBS, we built a quality comedy block from 5.30 to 7 that has more and more Detroiters laughing. We love Grace Under Fire! And 62 CBS is... The only place besides them! Next, it's Mad About You. And the big-time laughs you love are even bigger. At 7.30, big-time laughs with big-name stars are on 62 CBS. It's Hollywood Square starring Whoopi Goldberg. That's big! Quality comedies from 5.30 to 7. Hollywood Squares at 7.30. Let's Detroit 62 CBS! Big-time TV. It is perhaps one of the last great unexplained mysteries. They appear suddenly, at random, seemingly without purpose or explanation. Are they reproducing rapidly or arriving in ever-increasing numbers? One species has evolved enough to truly serve mankind, the Ameritech Yellow Pages. Distinguished from lesser books by its completeness of information and ease of use, it's the only book you need. As for the others, who really knows? Selections, 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 and fully displayed kitchens await you at KSI Kitchen and Bath Showrooms. Select from over 40 Marillette cabinet styles at KSI. Marillette woods and oak, maple, cherry, and hickory, as well as bright laminates. Best of all, KSI Kitchen Specialists will help you select the perfect kitchen. And at very reasonable prices. For knowledge, service, and integrity, call 1-888-KSI-1971 for your nearest KSI. Bob Evans Kids Meals and all of us together at 199. Hey, what could be better? With family fun and yummy food that always hits the spot. For 199, you sure get a lot. Your smiley folks and knock knock jokes, a menu that's all mine. All good for you favorites, just 199. Oh, dinner might come every day, but it sure tastes better. Share it all together. Bob Evans, my family and me. There's a change in the weather, change in the sea. From now on, there'll be a change in me. This week, it's the TJ Maxx Women's Athletic Event. An incredible selection from the biggest names in swim and activewear at unbelievable savings. So don't miss it. The TJ Maxx Athletic Event, going on now. There'll be some changes. Fashion. Some people get it, some get it for less. TJ Maxx. Letterman, now at 11.35 on Detroit 62 CBS. Joan of Arc, Sunday, May 16th. Log on now to CBS.com or America Online.
Molly. I've been thinking, and I'm not advocating this. I'm just saying that I bet a person who's good with computers could beat Sue Ellen at her own dirty game. You think? I'm in. Great. Well in Codwell Daily Calendar. Should we push and up daisies by the time we're through? Oh, hi, Ross. So, you're the reason why Patty's tried on every dress she has. Huh? She's nervous about your date. It's not a date. She called and asked if I'd come to the Arts and Crafts Fair. Sounds like a date to me. Hey, Natalie, let's go. Come on, we're gonna be late. One, two, three. I can't find my earring. Check your ear. In 55 years, she has yet to leave anywhere without looking for something. How did you know where it was? Lucky guess. Oh. Whoa, killer dress. You're oh, thank nice. you. It was Colin's favorite. You look beautiful, dear. Thank you, Aunt Natalie. I feel like I just called everyone in the known world. <laughs> Mom's gonna be so surprised when she... Surprised about what? Wow. Oh, I'm not sure. The only thing holding it up is a fervent prayer. All right. What surprise? Come on, come on, you guys. Every time I come in a room, you clam up. What is it? I made Kathy's dress. What? Uh, she hasn't been out in a long time, and so I thought I would make something for her. <laughs> Mom, you can't sew. Oh, yes, she can. Uh, she maybe this time. Uh -huh. Big shock, huh? Took a course. Richard? Huh? Why don't we go in the den? Oh. Listen, Richard, I can see you still care about Patty. Why don't you tell her? She thinks of me as a friend or a brother. We were too young when we got married. And now, we're too old. Oh. I've been married over 50 years. Trust me, love does not recognize age. It took me a lot of years to get over the divorce. I've finally gotten used to being alone. Are you enjoying it? Pain is not something you wear like a badge of courage, Richard. Happiness is. Give that some thought. Richard, I'm ready to go. Martin, don't you think this would work in our bedroom? <laughs> sure. We never want to fall asleep. <gasps> There's Stone Adams' cousin. She can tell me how to get in touch with Stone. Something all right, Mrs. C? No, Norman. As a matter of fact, I spent a day in the depths of hell. I waited an hour for my bankers at lunch. They never showed. Then my dental appointment to fix my abscess tooth, which is killing me, was canceled. And the topper, I take my jag in for service, and the dealer's records show that I haven't made any payments. So they repossess it. Did you check your astrological chart? Because sometimes Shut up. What is this? You were supposed to empty this dump before anybody had a chance to spend a dime. Yes, ma'am, I, I was. Well, do it, Norman. Now. Oh, goodness. Guess who's coming your way? I got the Queen O' Mean in sight. Thank you. Have you sold many of these? Oh, 
Hello, Sue Ellen. Oh, well, hello, Mr. Lane. So nice to see you supporting the school. Oh, well, as a community leader, I do have a certain sense of civic duty. Your father must be very proud. Daddy? We still stay in touch. Shall we get some punch and chat? Well, actually... Oh, all right. How did it go with Stone Adams' cousin? Well, it seems that uh, she once sold his phone number to the National Enquirer, so he doesn't keep in touch. <laughs> oh, there's that investment banker guy. He is loaded. He's always good for Who is Stone Adams? Well, he's an actor. He's actually quite famous. Oh. I don't think he would have seen the kinds of movies he makes, though. Oh? Those kinds of movies? And Patty knows him? Uh, no, Grandma, not those kinds of movies. And uh, Mom knows him because when he was in high school, he was in her class. Well, I'd better rent some of his movies and check out his talents. Grandma? Uh... Well, it's been awfully nice, but I really do have to meet someone. Of course. <laughs> Sue Ellen! You look hot tonight. What do you want? You know, I had this huge crush on you in high school, and it's never really gone away. You want some oysters? I'm pretty sure that Norman guy can tell you the scoop on the construction scandal. That's pretty heavy legal stuff. You think he was responsible? Maybe. In fact, most probably. My editor would be pretty impressed if I could break that story for the paper. I'm going to find that Norman, see if I can sweat the details out of him. Like it? Very much. I don't think I did her justice. Are you the artist? Rock. <laughs> Hello, Kathy. <laughs> but I haven't used rock since our high school days. It's Hank now. Hank. Hank. What are you doing here? I heard you'd moved back to the south of France. Oh, no. I've been living here for years now. That one year as an exchange student changed my life. I knew there was something familiar about this piece. Well, it should be familiar. She's you. You're the one that got away. The one I couldn't forget. It was wonderful. No kidding. What happened? There was a new boy there tonight. The most handsome, wonderful, intelligent man I have ever seen. You're exactly as I remembered you. Your face still has the same luminous quality. <sighs> Every expression is a direct conduit to your soul. My, you're good. Tell me, do you look these things up in a book or do you just make them up on the spot? Hey, I'm being totally sincere here. As a matter of fact, your face has gotten even more raging. Ah, well, wrinkles. They reflect the light. <clears throat> See what you do to me? I I I'm sweating here. But you never said a word. You were always the coolest chap in school. Actually, I wasn't cool. I was shy, painfully shy. Mm. Me too. Uh, <laughs> Did you ever know that Patty and I both had a crush on you? Mm -hmm. Wait, wait a minute. Weren't the two of you always after the same guy? Oh, well, that did happen sometimes. I saw him first with Del Crossing Boy Snatcher. He's mine. That's ridiculous. He asked me for a date tomorrow night. Oh. Oh, sure. And you cornered him and forced him to. Shh. You told me he was intellectual and not very good looking. That's the way I saw him. You told me he was an athlete and, and handsome. That's the way I saw him. You half Richard. 
I'll trade you Richard and two Beatle albums. <laughs> so glad I got a chance to tell you all this, but uh, I've got a head for the Great White Way. But call me sometime. Oh, Sue Ellen, I've been trying to get over here to talk to you all evening. Oh, Mrs. Lame, don't you look wonderful. It's all about diet and exercise. Let me tell you my regimen. Desiccated liver, morning, noon, and night. Oh, you must try it. Would you excuse me, please? Oh. Yeah, of course, of course. Gee. Can we talk? Excuse me. Not such a good night, Sue Ellen? Look, Patty, this has gotten all out of hand. Now, I'm ready to be reasonable. Ooh, well, I'm off of that. All right, how about this? You back off, and maybe I can add a few zeros to your pension fund. Oh, please. Drum roll, please. Oh, oh read a better week, Sue Ellen. Hey, all right. Oh, Congratulations, let's go sweetheart. home. Tomorrow is another I day. Everything went very well. This has been it's a blast. It yeah, has. Oh, oh look at this. Anthony. Uh-oh. Anthony? 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 You dang I thought you were home sick. I got better? Oh, yeah, you got better. That's it. We're through. Oh, yeah? I wouldn't date you if you were the last freak on earth, you worm. Well, like I care if you won't date me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We can work this out. No, no, no. I'm sorry, Miss Lane. I just can't work with them. You can't work with me. I can't work with you. Oh, no. You can't quit. The play is tomorrow. I'm sorry. It would be just too painful to do the play now, even with a different Romeo. You maggot! I didn't know you had a girlfriend. No, she ain't my... Get lost. What? Maggot. Anthony? You're still gonna be in the play, right? No. Yeah. Tiffany won't do it, I won't do it. Hey, I can feel just as much pain as she can. Thank you, Aunt Sue Ellen. You're welcome, Hillary, darling. You put that in your college fund. Mm. Isn't there anybody else? Who can learn the whole play in 24 hours and act? Well, one out of two wouldn't be bad. Ah, it's hopeless. We have to cancel the play. Uh, but uh, couldn't you play the part of Juliet, Miss Lane? Great idea. People love to see faculty make fools of themselves. Oh, thank you, dear, for your vote of confidence. But I think not. Patty, not even to save the school? Sets by Worthington. Now 25% off at JCPenney. Oh, how cute! <laughs> this spring, there's no better place to pick flowers than JCPenney. All long stem Worthington skirts are 25% off at JCPenney. Heading for where the fun shines? Don't worry. Where the temperature's rising, Alamo's rates are falling. Drive happy. Down to $109 for a whole week in Florida. So you have money for even more fun in the sun. Call Alamo at 1-800-GO-ALAMO and let the fun shine in. Don't worry. Drive happy. Drive happy now. Whoa. The answer lies out there, Watson. On the Moors, Holmes? In front of the Holmes, Watson. Holmes? That's right, Watson. Nobody in the world sells more real estate than Remax. Remax Associates average more experience and more sales than other real estate agents. 
So why in the world would you ever call anyone else? Another case solved, Holmes? How did you deduce it was Remax? Elementary, Watson, when you know how to read the signs. When your allergies are a nightmare, you need help. You need the power of Zyrtec. Prescription Zyrtec goes to work and lasts 24 hours. In studies, drowsiness was the most common side effect. Others included fatigue and dry mouth. Most were mild or moderate. To learn more, ask your doctor or pharmacist. So when allergies are a nightmare, remember the power of Zyrtec. It doesn't look like makeup. It doesn't feel like makeup. It's a new kind of natural. True Illusion from Maybelline. Some makeup can clump and look obvious, but True Illusion's exclusive micro mesh formula releases color pigments weightlessly, evenly, subtly concealing imperfections for a flawless yet makeup-free look. True Illusion Liquid Makeup and now Liquid to Powder Compact Makeup from Maybelline. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. His car, your car. His engine, your engine. Could you ever keep up with Jeff Gordon? Yep. Inside Kellogg's Frosted Flakes or Corn Pop Cereals with K-Centrals is the winner of a ride with Jeff Gordon. Right here to enter. Odds of winning are 1 in 18 million. What does your cereal do for you? Her jump shot, your jump shot. Her dribble, your dribble. Could you ever go one-on-one -on -one with Cheryl Swoops? Yep. Inside Kellogg's Fruit Loops or Applejack Cereals with K-Centrals is the winner of a one-on-one -on -one contest with Cheryl Swoops. Right here to enter. Odds of winning are 1 in 12 million. What does your cereal do for you? The Patty Duke Show reunion movie will continue. I open the Great Lake Erie. Famous flying ace prepares for adventure. Destination Cedar Point. Over mighty mountains. Through gentle woods. Up and down hills. The Beagle. Badlands. Camp Snoopy. All new rides and attractions. Opening Sunday, May 9th at the park voted best on the planet. Cedar Point! With Ameritech's 24-hour monitoring center, we're always working to get your call through. So you can relax. Are you calling for help? I was going to order lunch first. I think the deli over there delivers. Now get a free digital phone, free nights and weekends, and 200 peak minutes for just $39.95. Get all that with a free digital phone. Relax. It's Ameritech. So what do you feel like? Tuna. Hey, you hard-working moms. Got yourself a dinner emergency? Don't panic. Just hurry on over to KFC for the one-of-a-kind taste of the Colonel's original recipe chicken. It's finger-licking good. With my lemon herbs and spices. Right now, get 10 moist and juicy pieces of the Colonel's original recipe chicken for just $8.99. That price won't be here long, so hurry to KFC. At KFC, we do chicken right at Red Good Press, too. Well, he didn't call. He's probably not over his last girlfriend. Sounds like the Peter Pan syndrome. <laughs> I think he's intimidated by intelligence. Girl, you are a threat to his manhood. Oh, yeah. He obviously has issues with his mother. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Is it possible that he's just not interested? No! The Honda Civic. Where will it take you? Now you can get special APR financing for as low as 3.9% APR for 36 months on all 99 Civics. More than anything, I ask for courage. Courage to grow, to make my own decisions, to make mistakes. My life is blessed with so many choices. Please, grant me the strength and wisdom to make the right ones, and the courage always to defend my right to do so. Punch 62 for Hollywood Squares, weeknights at 7.30 on 62 CBS. Dave's talking to Martin Lawrence, tonight on CBS. I'd like to see you again. Oh, I don't think that would be possible. Am I coming on too strong? I'm only going to be here a few days. And... Uh, 
I haven't dated anyone for 20 years. Well, don't look at it as a date. Look at it as spending time with the coolest guy in high school. <laughs> and anyway, if, you, if you're only going to be here for a short while, then there's nothing to be afraid of, is there? Hank, you don't know me. Even when you knew me, you didn't know me. I didn't know me. Always a gentleman. Thank you. It's been lovely seeing you again. I'm going to call you tomorrow. Try to change your mind. I can't deny that your uh, persistence is flattering. Good night, Hank. Are you ready for the pep talk? I read somewhere that the same year that Babe Ruth hit all the home runs, he also struck out the most. To hit the ball, you gotta swing the bat. Yeah, but sometimes you can swing as hard as you want and you can't get a hit. Hank Aaron batted 175 during a season, and then in the World Series, he was batting 465. Anybody can have a slump. Uh, at least I know what to call it now. Patty, maybe you've taken on more than is humanly possible. So you want me to quit? Well, I'm not saying that. I'm only... Oh, you're just telling me that when the going gets tough, the tough... When the tough go... get... something like that. I'm just saying... You're trying to talk me out of everything I believe in. Everything I've dedicated my life to. Patty, you're the one that doesn't want to do the play. I can remember a time when you would have leaped <laughs> into that spotlight. Yes, well, I no longer have the childish need for attention and accolades. I better go in. I have a long, sleepless night ahead of me. You know, I've just about decided that I'm not gonna get involved with the opposite sex again. Me too. Right, right with you. Yeah. It'd be crazy after all these years. Absolutely. Completely nuts. Good. We agree. Yeah. Good night. inside like me too like what's the matter my foot fell asleep <laughs> rich do you suppose anybody ever felt this way before how could they i suppose maybe romeo and juliet maybe romeo romeo before art thou romeo Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. <laughs> Romeo said that? Well, maybe it was Hamlet. Mm. <laughs> well, Mom, I've decided I'm going to play Juliet. That's wonderful, dear. Who's going to play Romeo? 
Someone I've acted with before. Good morning. Anybody home? I brought donuts and bran muffins. Good choice, dear. What? Romeo, Romeo. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Great turnout. I can't wait to see Richard Harrison in tights. Two minutes, everyone. This is two minutes. Where are Romeo and Juliet? Oh, may we? I am so nervous. Take deep breaths. Like this. See? It works. Who knows? I, I can't feel a thing from the brain down. It's showtime. Showtime. Oh, boy. You're going to be great. Breathe. All right, stop breathing. You're going to hyperventilate. My grandparents, Romeo and Juliet. Both alike in dignity, in fair Verona, where we lay our scene, where ancient grudge breaks to new mutiny, and civil blood makes civil hands unclean. Oh, stupid curtain, get out. I'm gonna kill that little weasel when I get my hands around his neck. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes, a pair of star-crossed lovers. Take their life. A misadventured piteous overthrows doth with their death bury their parents' strife. Exit. Go. Jada. Go. What lady is that which doth enrich the hand? Of yonder night. I know not, Romeo. Uh, she teaches the torches to burn bright. It seems she hang upon the cheek of night. Did my heart love till now forswear its sight? For I have... <laughs> I have never seen true beauty Till this night. What's happening to her? The simple sin. Stage fright. My lips. Two blushing pilgrims. Ready. She's the drama teacher. She's a teacher, not an actor. I thought she'd gotten over this. If Patty gets that part, she's going to be impossible. Well, perhaps she won't get it. What do you mean? Do you remember what happened the last time she tried out for a school play? Sure. She froze up and... She froze up. She froze up. Come in. Mr. Gregory? Hello, Susan. Sit down. <laughs> and as soon as she learned she didn't have to go on, her voice came back. Great. So all we have to do is convince her that there's no audience out there and she'll be fine. Two pilgrims ready to smooth the rough touch with a simple kiss. Good lady, you do enhance your hand too much. Be that I struck you dumb with my presence? Uh, may that I uh, speak for thee, good pilgrim. 
Good pilgrim. You do wrong your hand too much. Good pilgrim. Uh, Romeo, cousin Romeo. Uh, uh, Romeo. Call good, oh, good Mercutio. What are you doing? You were supposed to wait for me downstairs. It's too dangerous. I overheard a couple of guys talking at the art fair, and they want to question me about the community center thing. Don't you, idiot! Those men were probably from Patty Lane's family. She has more relatives than the cast of Chicago Hope. She's related to Christy Vladi? Once again, you screwed up. The sprinkler system was supposed to be leaking water onto the stage before this fiasco began. Uh, do you really think this is a fiasco? Because I've been watching and it is very funny. <laughs> Show must go on. Well, you can do it. I can't. The whole school is counting on you. I can't do it. Romeo! How much longer are you going to let fear run your life? But soft, what light from yonder window breaks? It is the East and Juliet. <laughs> and also Julia, her sister, are the sun. Ah, me. Ah, me too. <coughs> I speak. Oh, speak again, bright angel. Well, here's your problem. You forgot to pull the lever. <laughs> Even thy mother tries to stop me. Be gone now! I cast thee out! at the celebrity concert and dance? You may just turn Mr. Sweeney into a believer. Yes. Thanks, Mr. O'Hara. Daddy! Oh, oh Daddy! You were so wonderful, my Oh, I was oh, ridiculous! You were the most oh, absolutely beautiful. beautiful. Was it Richard Daggers? Yes. He said all oh, those you words. Know. Not over until the fat lady sings. Then you better call your vocal coach. <laughs> but I wasn't gone long. Your husband was right here? I went to check the tickets. Bingo. What? Have you checked the Chili Dog Express? Oh, no. Hot dogs give Jack indigestion and heartburn. Not this time. What is it? Looks like the remains of a minty fresh Pepsi AC chewable. Chewable? Now the first chewable that stops heartburn before it starts. Great tasting Pepsid AC chewables. Jack? 
Start living heartburn free with new Pepsid AC chewables. After 100,000 grueling test miles, we challenged a new Civic to follow us for another 100,000. Because at Kia, we're so obsessed, every test mile counts. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Will you look at that? 173,000 miles! Uh -oh. And you want to get a snapshot? You want to eat those kids? Again? Smile. <laughs> we got to do this for another 27,000 miles. See you guys at the next mile. Go Kia. Do we make a reliable car for 2,700 less than a Honda? Darn right. Do we need counseling? Mm, probably. Kia, it's about time everyone had a well-made car. Hi, Pat and Betty at the Reynolds Kitchens. Who'd like to make a home-cooked meal with Reynolds Wrap that's as easy as counting to four? No way. Okay, one. Place chicken and vegetables on a sheet of Reynolds Wrap heavy-duty aluminum foil. Two. Fold it into a packet. Three. Put them on the grill, Betty. Packets cook food faster and seal in juices. Four. Open for a scrumptious dinner. Reynolds quick and easy packet cooking makes good food better. Pat, we need a number for cleanup. When you've got Schlotzky's on the brain, there's not much room for anything else. We got a dog for the kids. Okay, so I became attached. Dad! So my wife called it obsessive. I just wanted the perfect food for my dog. Talk to the vet, talk to the breeder, read books. Okay, two words. Go shopping. That's how I found Purina One brand lamb and rice formula. First ingredient, lamb. I think we found our dog food. Me? Obsessive? I don't think so. Purina One, second to none. I'm Roger Saudi from Ho Cereals. I grew up on cereal. Followed the funnies, sent for that sheriff's badge. It was the way to start the day. Now that I've grown up, my cereal is post ready wheat. Simple, honest, pure, and so wholesome, the feeling you're off on the right foot stays with you all day long. Post shredded wheat. It's starting the day with cereal and doing it right. The principle behind karma is that a lifetime spent in good and useful purpose will be rewarded by coming back in a higher form. This was a very good washing machine. Another strong argument for the new steel. Feel the strength. The soldiers are coming. I will not lose my daughter. In an age when a hundred years of war brought a mighty people to its knees. All this fighting is to determine who is the rightful ruler of France. The daughter of a peasant. I heard a voice. Ignited the fires of hope. What do they say? My destiny lies elsewhere. Her name, Joan of Arc. She is going to unite all of France behind me. You will betray her once she has outlived her use. God's will that France is united. Resume to speak for God. God speaks for himself. You will bravely face whatever life hands you. Even if the stake were raised and the fire lit, I would not lose faith in God. Lily Sobieski, Peter Strauss, Robert Logier, Olympia Dukakis, Peter O'Toole. God is not going to rescue you. Joan of Arc, a world premiere, CBS Sunday, May 16th. Hey, hon. You mind if I join you? I'm starving. Sure, Papa. Oh, boy. Pie. What's the matter? Couldn't sleep? Mm -mm. Neither could I. I keep running this Sue Ellen thing over and over in my mind. I bet we're not the only ones losing sleep over that woman. Seems to me that she went to extraordinary lengths to take over the school. Too extraordinary. What do you mean? Well, it's just a hunch, but... I'd say she's a little too desperate to make this deal, like there was something else going on. You're right. Papa, could you do a little more digging, see what you can find out? Oh, yeah. You know me, I love a good dig. Thanks, Papa. It's good to feel the old juice is flowing again. Now, I better have a piece of that pie before your mother discovers where I am. <laughs> it's just what I wanted. Oh, 
was that? A mistake. <laughs> At least you're man enough to admit it. More to come. <laughs> I expect to have a new position on educational spending as soon as I get the report from the subcommittee <laughs> of the new committee on education exploration. How long this is going to take? <laughs> These guys are riot. <laughs> Friends, ladies, gentlemen, have a nice day. You're lucky. Our politicians back home couldn't bring a giggle from a hyena. Mm. You better hide these in some remote corner of the universe or there'll be zero left for anyone else. Well then, doll. You just have to whip up another batch. What are you doing? I added a little acid to the pipes so that they would rust and leak a little more quickly. Oh, excellent, excellent. The inspector's on his way. Oh, oh Sam, Sam, thank you. Goodness, you're here. Please, Ross, you work on Broadway. You know tons of stars. And they all have to work tomorrow night. Well, you're taking the night off. Why can't some of them do the same? Patty, I'm your brother. They're not. The gym. We have to decorate the gym. Hey, you can't do that. Has to, there's a possible structural problem. Structural problem? Can it wait? No. This place is a rock. You come to Scotland and I'll show you structural problems. There's never been a structural problem with this gym before. And I'll bet there isn't now. I think the only problem is a big, greedy rat named Sue Ellen. I'm disappointed. Name-calling seems so beneath you. Oh, poor Patty. All the sacrifices you've made for your students, and where has it gotten you? Soon you'll be out of a job, and I'll be a whole lot richer. Okay, that's it! Oh, 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 oh my God! Oh, 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 oh. I'm trying to help you. Maybe now you'll get a life. This is temporary. Well, you know how temporary has a habit of turning into permanent. <laughs> All I ever wanted to be was a good teacher. This school is my life. I don't trust anybody. I'm going to get in touch with a different building inspector. One who's a friend of mine. Can you do that by tomorrow night? No, I can't. Without the dance, we're sunk. I'm not going to give up. There has to be some place else that we can hold this gig. Sue Ellen Caldwell will not win. I can't believe every available space in Brooklyn is booked. Well, it is. And we tried everywhere. And maybe Sue Ellen is right. Maybe it's time for me to let go. Well... Hey, 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 wait a minute, honey. I spent the day searching through Sue Ellen's real estate records down at Borough Hall. And did you find out anything? Yeah. If you read fine print all day, it'll give you a headache. I think my glasses are too old. Darling, nothing is too old anymore. Especially now, since there's Viagra. <laughs> Gee, thanks for the vote of confidence, dear. Seriously, Mom, Grandpa and I are really close to dropping the net on Sue Ellen. Yeah. She has so many shell corporations and overseas accounts, she's got to be hiding something. It's just taking us a while to unravel all the levels. You know... Colin was very close to Peter McNamara at the Commerce Department. Perhaps he could unravel some red tape if I called him. Oh, that's a great offer, Kath, but it's probably too late. Are you all right? Yeah, fine. Mom, I'm going to get
We have got to tell her what's going on. Her heart is breaking. Too many people are relying on us to keep it a secret. We have to hold on for one more day, all right? I feel sorry for Patty. Guilty, I... I can't comfort her. I'm leading her on. I, I'm i pretending and, and not telling her the truth. So that's what this has been. Just a big, fat lie. He really doesn't care at all. Boy, was I stupid. Once again, I've wasted my time. Here's to the women who play. Allstate, proud supporters and fans of Women's World Cup Soccer. This generation and the next. Elevator to lobby. <laughs> By George. Contacts, $320. Treadmill, $800. Wonder Bra, $26. Facelift, $3,000. Being happy with who you are Priceless. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. Happily accepted. Most everywhere. Splendid looking Lexus. Thanks. Like my Seville, no doubt a technological marvel. Blessed with the control of the world's most renowned driving system. System? Nope, that's right. You don't have the North Star system. Seville. With all the power and control of the North Star system, now just $5.49 a month, it's what's next. Do I want to know how much? No, it would break your heart. See your Cadillac dealer today. Here's a new idea. A pain reliever from Aleve that goes to work fast and lasts all day. Introducing new Aleve gel caps. Like most gel caps, they go to work fast, but Aleve gel caps do more than work fast. They have the strength to work all day long with just two pills. It would take a Tylenol to do that. Look, if your pain reliever starts fast but won't last, get one that does it all. New Aleve gel caps, two pills, all day relief. Works for me. A model with a womanly body? That made me a first. Here's another. New Colors Day compact makeup. Looks this natural, feels this comfortable, and won't rub off. New Colors Day compact makeup. Revlon! How do you furnish a room with a ceiling made of sky? Introducing the affordably priced Home and Garden Collections from Ethan Allen. Because the most beautiful place in your home may not be in your home at all. The spring sale is on now. Do you know Patty? Take the Patty Duke Trivia Quiz at CBS.com. Tonight, another installment of... Oh, get out of my not go! And can Martin Lawrence make the most of life? Yes, I can. Then Dawson Creek's Michelle Williams reveals the bare facts. Is this the largest number of people that have seen you naked? Plus, a brand new top ten. So watch tonight. There could be some money in it for you. And later, don't miss Daisy Fuentes on Craig Kilborn. CBS Sunday. Three ex-wives will strike a blow for women everywhere. Bette Midler. What's the matter, Morty? Can't you buy her a whole dress? Diane Keaton. I am talking about justice. Goldie Hawn. Any more collagen. Your lips are going to look like they got stuck in a pool drain. Morning, Mohammed. The network television premiere of The First Wives Club. CBS Sunday. Their country. Our country. America's biggest stars are coming home to play. Garth Brooks, Dixie Chase, Tim McGraw, Faith Hill, and more. Thank you for a wonderful ride. There's ours. <laughs> the Academy of Country Music Awards, live CBS Wednesday, May 5th. Tonight's 62 CBS programming is brought to you locally in part by your Southeastern Michigan Jeep dealers. Looking for a late night laugh? Yeah. Flint Point 62 CBS weeknight starting at 11 for Mad About You. Are you kidding me? Helen Hunt and Paul Reiser. Big time comedy late night. When your day is done, it's time for fun. Are you kidding me? No kidding. And following Mad About You at 11.35, it's a big day. Fun follows me around. Late night laughs with Mad About You weeknights at 11. Letterman at 11.35. On 62 CBS, Big Time TV. All right, thank you. Right now, a dead
Denny's, when you order a Team Denny's burger and a Coke, you could win $25,000 and a trip for four to the Coca-Cola 600, plus a chance to meet one of the drivers. So come into Denny's for your own pit stop. Our enormous Team Denny's burgers, starting at $3.99. Good food and lots of it. So start your engines and drive on over. Today you will play many roles. Some you will choose. Some will be chosen for you. At AirTouch, we understand. That's why we're introducing the AirTouch Promise. A six-point commitment to help you do more of what you want to do while doing what you need to do. So if you want to live today on your terms, now you can. The owner of Bedlands is retiring and says thanks for 49 wonderful years with Bedlands' greatest prices ever on all fine quality bedding and bedroom furniture. Retirement sale going on now. The 62 CBS judges are now in session 3 to 5.30. For making CBS America's most watched network, welcome home. I don't think keeping the secret's been such a good idea. My poor grandfather and grandmother. We need to find a place for the celebrity dance, and we have to do it by tonight, or this whole thing has been a waste. I'd trade the whole mess for one of those beauties. One doggy with the wax. Can I get a pretzel? Here you go. Look at that awesome ship. It's a Staten Island ferry. The city stores it here for the winter. It's huge. You think a thousand people could board here? Yes! Come on! Listen, Sonny, there's only one guy that can authorize something like this. That's his honor, the mayor. But... End of story. Let's go. Hey, the mayor and I go way back. I'm sure he wouldn't mind. Listen, children, you're now wasting my time. I got a hobbit to run here. You don't like the way I do things? Call the city. But... Still giving him names? This one's Fred. Yeah. That one, Fred. And the twins over there. That's Fred and Fred. And over there. Fred? Good guess. It's a good name. How'd you find me? Well. When you were little, every time you ran away from home, this is as far as you got. <laughs> you always loved this place when you were little. We all run back to the things that made us feel safe and happy when our world sort of falls apart, you know? I thought by now I'd be as smart as you, and I'd stop making these dumb mistakes. Sweetheart. None of us ever stops making dumb mistakes, and that includes me. Besides, you're at least as smart as me. Patty, I, I'm so proud of the way you've lived your life. It's wonderful. I admit there was a period there when you were in high school when I used to wonder if we were all going to survive your schemes, but <laughs> hey. We made it through. Michael gave me heart failure once a week. With you, it was more like once a day. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Getting our mayor to help us out. Yellow. Judson, that you? Yeah, who's this? What do you mean, who's this? It's Carly. Mr. Mayor, you got a cold or something? Right. 
Look, a kid I know, a Lee McAllister. He's coming in to see you. Yeah, he just left. So you let him have the ferry? Well, no, I mean, I thought, you know... Well, don't make me sorry I give you that job, Sonny. Uh, yes, sir. I, I mean, no, sir. I'll, I'll take care of it, sir. <laughs> you are not just a con artist. You are the king of con artists. You know, Richard was out all night looking for you. Was he? Whatever you thought you heard him say last night, you have to remember it was Richard talking. He's never been exactly what you'd call an eloquent guy. But I think he loves you. Maybe. What am I going to do about the school? Well, that's easy. You just keep fighting and we'll all be right there with you. Okay? Love you, Papa. Ha, ha, ha. Sweetest words in the world. Now, you ready to pick up your sword and go after that dragon? That's me, Patty the Dragon Slayer. That's what I wanted to hear. Hey. We found the hey. hottest we did it. We found dance. a place for the dance. It's great. You won't believe it. And so all I need from you is one teeny weeny little celebrity. Can't you see that, Papa? Patty, I'm no Walter Winchell. I don't come in contact with what you call celebrities. You could look through the newspaper and see what celebrities are in town and call them. That's a great idea. You see, she's always thinking. That's great. It says here he's hey, filming a movie okay. in Queens. Uh, sorry. Stone Adams Thank loves you. me. He, he, he would never let me down if he knew I was in need. So let him know you're in need. Thanks, Papa. Kathy? Pull yourself together. We have to go to Queens. Be right down. Patty. I was worried sick. Can, can I please talk? Oh, I'm really busy, Richard. Uh, can I help you in any way? For you, truck. Oh, thanks. Kathy, hurry up. I'll meet you in the truck. Bye. Okay, everybody break it up. Move it inside. You park this thing, I'll find Stone. Hey, lady, lady, what do you think you're going? Oh, it's all right. I was Stone Adams' drama coach in high school. Yeah, uh, sorry, it's a close set. I assure you, officer, he'll be thrilled to see me. No one gets in without the name on the list. Just... Hey, back it up! What are you... What are you... Get back it up! Come on! Come Lady? If you want to get arrested, tell us now and save us a lot of time. Please, officer. I must see Stone Adams. It's crucial. It, it's crucial that you get yourself a pass or you stay over there. How did it go? It didn't. Those cops were all over me. They're never going to let me in there. I've got to figure out... You again. What's the matter? You don't understand English? That's just it. I taught Stone Adams English. I thought it was drama. No, actually it was drama and English. Everybody settle down. So I whacked the gun here and then he hits me with the chair there. Right, Stone. It's a breakaway. Oh. Props. I'm on it. Go, go. Okay. Your chair you, you sit over here. When the fight starts, you move over there. Okay? All right. Lock it up. Here we go. Okay? All right, people. You come. Sit here. Psst. Gangland 14D, take one. Psst. 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 Stone. 
Quiet down on set. Let's go. Settle down, people. I think you dropped a dime on me to the cops. What would I do then? Because you figure you could run things yourself. No, I'm not the running things kind of guy. Oh, I see. I think you are. You're not going to kill me here. You got a better place in mind? I swear! I got the tip from the extra! Can you hear me? If you arrest her, you'll have to arrest me. What? There's two of you. Have it your way, ladies. Okay, let's go. Well done, Bruce Lee. But those men were flabby and weak. Oh, karate kid? Kid? I'm 35. You lack focus. My master will teach you. Arnold from Happy Days? Lipton Brisk Ice Tea, where did you get that? Editing mistake in my favor. <laughs> Brisk, baby! <laughs> Only fool, fight man with Brisk. If you've been thinking about jumping into a rugged new Montana... I need more room! Now's a really good time. Never seen a minivan do that before. Maybe it's not really a minivan. Life was more exciting in Montana. Now jump into a rugged Montana with this limited time offer, but get a move on because the train's leaving the station. My mama told me you better shop around. Even if you're not rich and famous, you can still afford the most gorgeous designer dresses for spring. The most stunning suits, too. And it's all so easy. Just make the move to the store where you always see more and save more on the best. Today's Burlington Coat Factory. We're more than great coats. My mama told me you better shop around. Free your eyes from allergies with Opcon A eye drops. It blocks your eyes' allergic reaction. Freeze your eyes from itching and redness. Bausch & Lomb Opcon A. That must be a fascinating article. You think? But now it's time to feed the kitties. Anybody hungry? I am. Cats know what they want. Whiskers. What cats want. Gotcha. Guess who's gone way beyond pink? Starting now, Oil of Olay moves into Vivid Color Cosmetics. Radiant Reds. Blazing bronzes, the purest plums, eyes sparkle, colors glow. Your skin is beautifully cared for. Olay introduces a line of caring cosmetics. They're as good for your skin as they are for your spirit. Oil of Olay Cosmetics, lasting Olay color that cares. Wednesday on 60 Minutes 2. Why would a teenager go on a shooting spree at his school? People picking on me. He should know. That's what he did then. A pregnant patient with a brain tumor. Hook my body up to machines and keep it alive until the baby's born. A doctor's dilemma. This is suicide. On an all-new Chicago Hope, CBS Wednesday. The guy who knows the future is chasing escaped killers. They're going to my hometown. And their next victim is his mother. Mom! All-new early edition, CBS Saturday. 
Noah Dearborn believes he's found the fountain of youth. My good fortune. He hasn't aged a day in over 50 years. The man's pushing 100, but the guy I talked to doesn't look a day over 55. He's totally uncontaminated by modern life. But the most amazing thing of all is, he may be telling the truth. Oh my God. Oscar winners Sidney Poitier and Diane Weist with Mary Louise Parker in a movie that is truly timeless. He's a miracle. The Simple Life of Noah Dearborn, CBS Sunday, May 9th. Mommy said, Eric, you have to go to bed. You may not stay up instead. Guys, go to sleep. Your sister Emily went to bed without standing on her head. Call 1-800-PRIVACY-NOW and get one month free. If you're already enjoying the trusted benefits of this card, then you qualify for something even better. MCARE Senior Plan. It can mean more benefits and big savings for you. An MCARE Senior Plan is accepted all over Southeast Michigan, including most leading hospitals. Plus, now there's a way you can enjoy even more benefits. It's MCARE Senior Plan Prestige. Call this number today and see how one little card can make a big difference. MCARE Senior Plan. You gotta love people. First sign of summer and everyone's outside with their shorts and t-shirts on, washing the car. I mean, it's barely above freezing and people already have their soft tops down. With the heater on! Well, thank goodness for Tim Horton's iced cappuccino. It's the perfect summer treat, available right now. It's creamy, smooth, it's deep down cool, and it's just $1.99. This iced cap is the perfect summer treat to beat the summer heat. Before summer. Letterman, now at 11.35 on Detroit 62 CBS. Thanks for bailing us out. I spoke to the production company. They said they're going to drop the charges. Well, Stone's okay? Apparently. He said it only hurts when he thinks of you. He hates me. Of course, he'll have to get in line behind all these people after tonight. What am I going to say? Why don't you try the truth? Oh, I don't see the rest of the family. They should be here in a minute. Good luck. You were supposed to hire a limo for tonight. I'm sorry, Mr. C, but there still seems to be a problem with your credit cards. No doubt, thanks to Patty and that family of hers. I can hardly wait to see her face when she discovers the news. <laughs> Everyone who bought a ticket actually showed up. And then some of them brought those uh, big checks you were looking for. Well, it's a shame I couldn't find any entertainment for them. Oh. Oh, that is bad news. Oh. Would you like to, uh, make the announcement yourself? Excuse me. Uh, hi. My name is uh, Patty Lane, and um, a funny thing happened on the way to this concert. Ladies and gentlemen, concert. please welcome award-winning recording artist and THHS alumni, The Bomb. After all this come and gone, we're back. We're back. After all this come and gone, we're back. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I can't believe you're here. I won't believe it, it's showtime. Follow me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? On behalf of the New York City Schools and all of your very grateful former students, I proudly present to you the Clarissa Anthony Award. Congratulations. The Clarissa Anthony Award is a Lifetime Achievement Award for teaching. <clears throat> Folks, teaching is one of the most important professions there is. Because teachers are the ones who, who 
mold our future for all of us. Now we owe a huge debt to Patty Lane and every other teacher out there who continually puts the students in the starting position. It is your passion, your inspiration, and your dedication that are all too rare. Thank you, Ms. Lane. Thank you for being you. that this is the best night of my life. <laughs> and those of you who kept the secret, I know where you live. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't take that threat too lightly, folks. I wouldn't. All right, what do you say we rock this joint, huh? One, two, a one, two, three, four. Well, she had to take care of some important business. She'll be here, though. Hey, gorgeous. Are you uh, busy later? Richard, are you trying to ask me out? Actually, I'm trying to ask you to consider starting over. Unless you feel it's a bad idea. I think it's the best idea I ever heard. Mom, I, I'd like to read from my column that'll appear in tonight's edition of The New York Sun. Patty Lane is a teacher in Brooklyn who taught her students to believe in themselves. Sure, she taught lessons that were acquired by the state, but she also taught what was required by the heart. She said nothing is impossible if you want it bad enough. And so they listened and they went out into the world. The thousands of success stories validate her. And today, she saved the very school where she taught them because, because she wanted it badly enough. That teacher is my mom. Thank you for teaching me what's important. I've never been more proud to be your son. I'm moved. I really am. It's very touching. Almost as touching as the fact that we matched the state funds. Oh, but I'm afraid we're not talking repairs anymore. I won't bore you with the details, but I'm afraid the school must be torn down. You'll notice the word demolition and the official city seal. So, well, if I wasn't a lady... Hold on there. Mayor Caliano! Hello, Patty. Mr. Mayor! You know my name? You're a difficult woman to ignore. Uh, All those faxes and phone calls tying up my staff. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to. Look, a second inspection disputed the original findings at BHHS. So I discussed the problem with the Board of Education and convince them to appropriate the funds to completely renovate Brooklyn Heights High and place it on the historic register. Oh. So you can ignore that demolition order. It's been rescinded. Oh. Oh. oh, Mr. Mayor, I don't know how to thank you. I should be thanking you, Pat. One more thing. Who is Liam McAllister? Oh, no. Uh, uh, Liam. Oh. I want you to come down to City Hall. Do your impression of me. We could use a few more laughs down there. <laughs> <laughs> have a nice day. Patty, have a nice day. Have a nice day. Have a nice day.
Mr. Mayor! Do you see him? Oh, Mr. Mayor, I think you seem to have forgotten my recent contribution to your re-election campaign. As a matter of fact, I didn't. I decided I won't be needing your support. Thanks to Mrs. McAllister and her friends at the Commerce Department, I've become aware of your business dealings. It seems you've been signing tenants and taking their money for your mall, even though you don't own the building. The district attorney is very interested in talking to you about real estate fraud. There's also the matter of bribing and misleading a city official. Hire a good lawyer, Sue Ellen. You'll need one. You must be Norman. Me? I hope she pays you well, because Attica Prison is holding a spot for you. Have a nice day. Mr. Callister, I want to thank you for everything. Gentlemen, carry on. This is all your fault. My fault? I knew I should have hired someone with more than three brain cells. To see. <laughs> Day, Sue Ellen. Commitments. It's over when the sun ends. Why don't we see what happens when the sun ends? I think I like the sound of that. <laughs> Maybe Liam and Kathy could move into the house. There's plenty of room. It is pretty big, just for you. Well, I wasn't thinking of it just for me, you know. I do know. Oh, wouldn't it be great having Kat here? We could raise thousands of dollars for the school, touring in the two Juliets. <laughs> Ross could do the music. Michael would get us the bookings. We could set the mom and the stage manager. into a whole new season with Dave with guests Julia Roberts, Arsenio Hall, Roseanne, Helen Hunt, Bill Cosby, Sarah Ferguson, Dustin Hoffman, and tonight, don't miss Martin Lawrence. their friendship. I made some brownies. Thought you might like some. Their trust. Dorothy has been nothing but helpful. And their daughter. Now. She's not Dorothy Cotton. I have no idea who she is. Or why she would be doing this. Only a mother's courage can save her child. I can't wait for the police. Help! Meredith Baxter in a world premiere movie. <laughs> Down will come baby. CBS next Tuesday. Midler. What's the matter, Morty? Can't you buy her a whole dress? Diane Keaton. I am talking about justice. Goldie Hawn. Any more collagen? Your lips are going to look like they got stuck in a pool drink. Morning, Mohammed. The network television premiere of The First Wives Club, CBS Sunday. 
Looking for late night laughs? Yeah. Watch 62 CBS weeknights at 11 for Mad About You. Big time comedy late night. When your day is done, it's time for fun. All right, thank you. Mad About You at 11, followed by Letterman at 11.35. Big time TV. For the next two days, Capstone Mortgage is having a special loan event. For the next two days, we've given permission to our underwriters to loosen our requirements so that you can get the cash you need. There will never be an easier time to get your loan approved. Call Capstone Mortgage now at 1-800-351-7555. Don't miss this special two-day loan event. Call Capstone Mortgage now at 1-800-351-7555. Capstone Mortgage, we have millions to lend to you.